today we're going to make chocolate ice cream in a blender. First off, we're going to add two cups of heavy whipping cream. This recipe came from a friend of mine on YouTube, One Pot Chef, and I will have uh, a link to his channel in the description box below this video. Check him out. He's got a new cookbook that's come out. And uh, he's got some great recipes in there that are simple and easy to fix. Next, we're going to add two cups of whole milk to the blender. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. This will help boost the flavor a little bit. And uh, will help a lot with the flavor, believe me, because I can taste it in it. It's not overpowering. Then next, we're going to add, to sweeten it up a little bit, a half a cup of regular white sugar. And this will help sweeten it up and uh, help provide a little bit of texture to it also as well. This is a simple, easy recipe for ice cream with no complicated machines or gadgets or sitting on the porch cranking your arm off. This is quick and simple. Next, we're going to add the chocolate chips. We're going to melt a bag, but what I'm going to do, I got two bags of Hershey's chocolate chips. One bag is special dark chocolate. The other is milk chocolate, and we're just going to split them in two and e make it equivalent to one bag. And we're going to see how this flavor combination plays out. Make sure when you're melting your chocolate that you do it 30 seconds at a time in the microwave and you stir it with a metal utensil every 30 seconds. And if you do get any bits and pieces that scorch, just pull them out and they'll be okay. You may want to try Hershey's chocolate syrup uh, that we used to use as kids as make chocolate milk. I may try that next time myself. So I'll be right back with you once we get it uh, melted down. Okay, now that we've got it melted, we're going to place the chocolate into the blender and the ice cream mixture and make sure you get all of it in there. The more chocolate the better I always say. And we're going to blend this mixture on high speed that you've got on the blender and we're going to mix it for about two minutes maybe a little more. We want to make sure that it's all the way incorporated. And once it's mixed we're going to come back and pour it into a freezer safe container and we've got a good plastic container here with a good tight fitting lid once you pour it all in there put your lid on good and tight burp all the air out that you can and you set it in the freezer for about I'd say six to eight hours for it to really set up and of course before you eat you're gonna have to uh, set it out for about five ten minutes so it will soften up because as you know there's no preservatives in this just basic ingredients so we'll be right back as soon as it sets up and we'll scoop some out and give it a test and see how this recipe comes out and how it tastes so we'll be right back with you folks Okay, let's get at this. Uh, it's been six to eight hours, and uh, let's scoop some out and see how this works. I've got uh, ice cream scoop over here. I'm going to run some hot water over it. That will help uh, get it to scoop up a little bit better, especially if the ice cream is still a little bit uh, too cold and a little hard. That'll help get it to scoop open a little bit better. So uh, 
That's a little trick I learned years ago. I'm going to scoop some out here and give it a taste test and let you know how it turned out. I also want to thank the One Pot Chef again for such great videos and easy recipes. And uh, I never did think I could make homemade ice cream, but uh, I can with this recipe. So uh, I want to thank him. Be sure to check his page out. And uh, take a gander maybe to his cookbook. Uh, got some great recipes in it. And of course, it is delicious as I've tasted it uh, here. And uh, I believe you'll like it. You can also use anything for flavoring. Bananas, strawberries, anything. So uh, be sure and give this recipe a try. And we'll be talking to you later. And thank you for watching. And please comment if you'd like.